Good afternoon. Welcome to your Monday Minute with Pastor Matt. I hope you're having a great start to your week, that you're excited about the week ahead and everything that the Lord has planned for you. Now, I want to give you a few verses out of Luke chapter 9 today, and I hope it will be an encouragement to you. The Bible says in Luke chapter 9, verse number 57, and it came to pass that as they went in the way, that a certain man said unto the Lord, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. You know, we hear that a lot today. People saying to the Lord, Lord, I'm going to follow you no matter what. Then the Lord goes and Jesus says in, in verse number 58, he says, and Jesus said, if foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, but the son of man hath not where to lay his head. And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. Jesus said unto him, let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go and bid them farewell, which are at my house. And you know, all of those are not bad things. Those are good things. You know, the fact that we want to mourn and, and grieve and bury our dead, that's not a bad thing. The fact that we want to bid our family farewell when we do follow Christ and have to move away and things like that. Those aren't bad things. The Lord is wanting to get a point across here and he does it in verse number 62. And it's what I want you to see today. Jesus said, no man, no man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. And you say, well, Matt, what does that mean? Why, why would Jesus say that? And he said that because he wants anybody that is going to follow him to realize one thing, and that is that Christ always comes first. And there is no second place in serving Jesus. And so I want to challenge you. Yesterday, um, yesterday here at the church, we had a precious little girl get saved. And when I was talking with her about getting saved, she, she it was so precious. She, you always want to ask to make sure that people understand why they need to be saved. And she, before I could even finish the statement, tell me why you need to be saved. She, tears pouring down her face. She says, because I don't want to go to hell when I die. And just to see her, I mean, there was that, that moment. And in, in, it just made me like, ah. You know, that's the way we should all want to follow Christ. And when I say, obviously, there, talking about salvation, and in our Monday Minute now, talking about just following Jesus and serving Him. But you know, I was thinking about that, and I was thinking as preparing for my Monday Minute, how that I want to follow Christ in that way, where I know there's nothing else that I can, I, I gotta have Jesus. And, I've got to follow and serve him, and I don't ever want him to be second place or third place. I want him to be first place. And so my challenge to you this week is, what place is Jesus in your life? Is he first place, or is he second place or third place? Maybe you need to evaluate that. Here's what I want you to do. Leave a comment below and tell me, is Jesus first place in your life, or is it something you need to work on? And you know, maybe this video could be a help to someone else. Like it and share it so that others can see it. I love you. Don't forget to join in on Wednesday when we have our Wisdom Wednesday with Pastor Will, and then again on Friday with Friday Focus with Pastor. Like, share the video, comment. We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much, and we will see you next Monday.